Hello, welcome to my easy statistics. In this video, I am going to discuss about Fisher's exact test. This Fisher's exact test is a statistical significant test used to determine if there is a statistical significant association between two categorical variables. It is a more powerful test than the chi-square test when the expected counts in some cells are small that is if this expected count is less than 5 number then we must use this Fisher's exact test if it is more than 5 in all the cells we can use chi-square test as usual but if the expected count is less than 5 then you must use this Fisher test now I'm going to use a database and we are going to find the relationship between exercise and heart disease okay now the database which i am going to show contains 34 individuals and they have classified exercise habits as a regular exercise and not doing regular exercise heart diseases yes they have heart disease and they don't have heart disease now the null hypothesis we are going to keep is there is a no significant association between regular exercise and heart disease alternate hypothesis there is a significant association between regular exercise and heart disease uh, in this case let me show you the data set now in this data set the first variable is exercise we have one and two one means yes they are, they are doing regular exercise two means they are not doing any regular exercise heart disease uh, one means they have a disease and two means they don't have any disease now i'll show you how to do the analysis in analysis select descriptive statistics in this cross tabs select exercise as a row and heart disease as column in statistics select chi square value and in cells we will select the expected count and percentage as a row click continue and click ok now you can see the output the case processing summary total 34 is a sample now in this exercise and heart cross tabulation you can see for expected count here you have 3.1 3.1 means it is less than 5 count when it is less than 5 count we cannot use chi-square test we must use this exact fishers exact test only and in the same way you can see for the next one also 4.9 we have the expected count must be more than 5 if it is less than 5 then you must use this fisher exact test only you must use if you see the chi-square test value the pearson chi-square value asymptotic significant value 0. 014 which is less than 0 0.05 we already stated the null hypothesis there is no significant difference for exercise to heart disease and here the significant value is 0 0.014 which is less than 0 0.05 so we are rejecting the null hypothesis it means there is a relationship between exercise to heart disease but here we must see fisher's exact test see the exact test value is 0 0.033 this is also less than 0 0.05 means again the same interpretation the null hypothesis rejected since the p-value is less than 0 0.05 now if you see here the table once again you'll understand people who are not exercising were saying no okay and heart disease you can see 90.5 percent they are getting heart disease people are not doing regular exercise and they have heart disease 90.5 percent very high and people are not exercising and they don't have heart disease only 9.5 percentage it clearly specifies exercise has a relationship with the heart disease and we are going to confirm with the help of exact test why we are using exact test in place of chi-square value chi-square test because the expected count must not be less than five if it is less than five then you must use fisher exact test i hope this video will be useful for your research thank you